going to try to prepare whole pan fried yellowtail snapper and with some potato sliced up and some carrots and we'll see how that works. So I have scrubbed the potato and the carrots and um, I'm going to slice them up and then uh, soak them for a while. Soaked the potatoes for about 20 minutes. I don't know if that's enough, but that's as much as I'm going to soak them at. I decided I'm going to steam the carrots, so I got some butter in a bowl. Here's my yellowtail snapper. Cut the head off, cut some of the fins off. Cleaned it out real well inside, and um, here are my spices, which is pretty simple. Uh, it's only uh, pepper, fresh ground pepper, kosher salt, ground up, like 27-year-old minced onions. No, minced garlic was the last of the minced garlic that was in the cupboard and some Old Bay. Hmm, by the looks of it, I think I gotta add a little more Old Bay. So I'm gonna keep it simple. Well, the main reason is because I don't have any other spices. I didn't go shopping today. All right, I got my fish all seasoned up and um, just realized that I don't have a whole heck of a lot of canola oil. That might be enough though. I got a small pan, but I did find some Greek extra virgin olive oil so I guess I can supplement with that I hope anyway I'm gonna go start the uh, I'm gonna go start the fryer and uh, see how that works out all right so I got the uh, cast iron frying pan Ooh, I'm gonna have to get a hot pad and I put the canola oil in. I didn't use any of the uh, olive oil because I think this is going to be enough. And I've decided to uh, make french fries out of the potatoes, even though they're not cut into french fry shape. They're still round, so whatever. Well, you cook the french fries for at 300 degrees for three minutes, and you take them off, dry them off on a paper towel, and let them cool. That's cooked the inside. Then you come back at 400 degrees and uh, crisp them up. But the fish is to be cooked at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna do the first cook of the potatoes. Then I'm gonna cook the fish. Then I'm gonna come back and crisp the potatoes. Then I'm gonna steam the carrots. Oh, we'll see how this all works out. I'm excited. I decided to try to cook the, uh, fry the fish outside on the grill because um, otherwise the house is going to smell like fried fish or burnt oil, so I don't want that. So here we go. Alright, I uh, have two burners going, full blast, it's heating up. I've even got the cover closed, trying to heat it up. It was about 235 degrees when I last looked. And I also decided that it might be a good idea to have my uh, fire extinguisher from the bolt, just in case. So I think I'm set. That's close enough for me. 288, 288. I'm gonna go ahead and put the potatoes in. May not be the best of techniques, but it's the first time I've ever done this, so it's just the way it's gonna have to be. They don't get quite get done, tough. Flip up with the spatula. I don't, I'm trying not to splash too much. I really don't want to start a fire. It's 22 seconds left. Well, I hope these are done. Well, I don't think it makes any difference. I'm going to fry the 
crap out of them at 400 degrees later on, so that's got to make things happen. All right, time's up. I'm gonna get these bad boys off and uh, put them on uh, paper towels, and then I'm gonna heat up to 350. Well, I turned on the third burner and um, heating it up, trying to get to 350. Might not get there, but I don't think that that's that critical. I can always leave it on for a long enough period of time to get the fish done. Oh well, we wait. So I almost got up to, well they say don't move the fish. I almost got up to 350, but it's close enough. Now I'm just gonna ladle the grease over the fish till it starts bubbling. They say don't move the, they say don't, uh, this isn't a very good ladle. Maybe I can get a good ladle. They say don't move the fish because it'll uh, stick. So we'll see. Ooh, I splashed something. I got a fire going. Do not want that. All right, I'm just gonna keep ladling this on until the bubbles come through the cracks on the top side. And they say when that happens, that the fish is done. So I guess you're just supposed to keep ladling the uh, hot oil over the fish and until the bubbles start coming up through the slits in the fish, the, the serrations. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's sticking to the pan. I'm kind of wiping off all my seasoning with this bath, so I might just flip it over. I think I'm just going to flip it over. I'm just going to try flipping it over. Oh yeah! That works. That works. I guess I'll keep ladling it, but I think it's working. They say the when it starts to get done, the, cre the slits that you cut in there will open up. They are opening up and that the um, skin will start to peel back. And I guess it is a little bit. I think I already got enough spices in there, so if I'm washing them off, well, that's just too bad. It's just too bad. Oh, I'm starting to get some bubbles through the crevices. I'm trying to keep the camera in one spot here. All right, well, you get the idea here. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this to completion. All right, um, I'm not sure it's done, but it looks pretty good. The fish is all white and translucent. I mean, it got to like 170 degrees internal temperature. That's gotta be done. Hopefully I didn't overdo it. Well, anyway, now, I don't know how hot my grease is here, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the potatoes in and try to finish them off. Uh, and yeah, see how it works out. Alright, I closed the lid again and because the potatoes weren't getting crispy like I wanted and the temperature was nowhere near where it should be. Well, anyway, I'm going to cook them until I think they're done. They're cooking away, and the Dyna Glow turned out to be a Dyna No. Not hot enough. Lo and behold, the uh, potatoes actually started turning brown. Uh, I cooked them a few at a time because uh, it's a small pan, and I have to turn the or uh, close the cover to keep the temperature up. But hey, that works for me. All right, I'm getting there. I got the uh, fish done. I got the fried potatoes done. Now I'm going to steam the carrots, just using the uh, bowl and saran wrap with a little bit of butter in their method. So we'll heat those up, give it a minute or so, and I'm going to eat. 
All right, there it is. Whole fried yellowtail, uh, fried potatoes, and steamed carrots. Can't ask for more than that. Life is really good.